So, anyways, we're talking about the dyno and some of the things that people on the internet might be questioning as to how we came up with the numbers that we did. Uh, so, first and foremost, it's a Dynagen dyno. It's a 424 XLC2. Uh, this is a linked dyno currently. Uh, so, that means if you look under here, there's actually a big rubber band that links these two rollers. So, there's a 50 50 torque split. So, the front wheels spin at the exact same speed as the rear wheels. Uh, and so, what that means as far as numbers is actually. If, if it was not linked, your numbers might be a teeny bit higher because you're actually spinning that extra weight. Um, it's marginal, maybe you're talking 5, 10 horsepower, but it's worth noting. Um, aside from that, uh, you can look here, this is uh, what we use to calculate uh, the, uh, based on the final drive, that's the number that we came up with, 117.32, uh, which is how that torque number was calculated. The horsepower number, we have zero control over it, it is what the dyno reads. Uh, you can also look here, uh, we ran it uncorrected, obviously uh, conditions in the dining room don't really affect the performance of this vehicle, so uh, you got an uncorrected number. Uh, and this is the Chilmer number, obviously. Two, two cars, uh, two different cars, 30 minutes apart, uh, and both in Chilmer, it's fairly consistent. Can we get an overlay of uh, both um, yeah, cars cool. with all the runs? All of them? Or do you want or the backwards power ones? Or the two high ones? Yeah, the high ones. Absolutely. Ones. So yeah. this is that one. And so you can see uh, peak torque. Uh, you're talking difference of about 110 uh, on the torque side at I guess, a mile an hour is what we're speaking in, but about 35 mile an hour. And uh, so that's probably where you're going to feel it the most. Uh, you can actually, somewhat interesting is they. Uh, by the end of the run, it's really not all that different. Um, but obviously, this is the this is the fun stuff and when you're driving down the road. Yep, zero to sixty. That's the fun <laughs> yeah, part. That's that zero to sixty right there. Nice. Cool. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for coming. All right, we're putting on chill mode. All right, man. Placing it in chill mode. We have. Uh, Regenerative braking low, creep, and slip start is currently off actually. So, so all those runs were slip start off then? They were, yeah. It looks like it didn't get reset. You, you and know we're what? at 83% battery. Okay. Alright, let's just do chill mode. Just make sure I'm just double And check. then, unless you want, if we can do another sure. run with slip mode on. You, you know what? It's not like you're losing power. Turn on slip mode and turn off chill so that way we can get a third run on the same grass. Okay. Yeah, just trying to make sure they're the same. So yeah, okay, so we'll do standard, and we'll do slip start. I don't know, it shouldn't make a difference. Yeah, it, right. it might not make a difference. One run here, and then we'll jump chill, and then we'll get on. All right, thank you. No, no problem. Good catch on the slip start, because people will complain. <laughs> Looks like it didn't make much of a difference. Well, 3, 368. Torque 394. Torque's dead on every time. Alright. Alright, second run. It's gonna be at 89%. Setting up the camera shot. South Africa okay. and then moved to Chesterfield and my parents kind of sat down here. I went to Lynchburg, met my wife there, lived there for a couple of years, went to Nashville and then came back to Richmond just recently. Yeah. Kind of happened at the exact same time this place was opening oh, up. Okay. I came from an exotic shop beforehand. Sure. Um, so this is a this is a bit more fun than just servicing guys with Ferraris. Yeah. <laughs> Even even in an economic downturn, you're always going to see this this industry flourish. 
Supercharger is a fun man, but drop down to 88% from 89. Yeah, that's a, a sizable difference, it's about 100 across the board. Yeah, it is. Although, they, at, the, at the end of the run, they all seem about the same. <laughs> So driving, chill mode on, slip start on. Okay, so chill, slip start, ready to run. What's the battery percent? Eighty one percent. Chill mode on. Two oh six max horsepower, two thirty five max torque on chill. That is really interesting. All right, third run is chill mode with 88%. Dang, chill, chill mode, mode got is crippled. exactly the same. So the chill modes are identical. So that shows you the software. Uh, the software yeah, totally in control. That's pretty cool. Oh, I, mean, I mean, it's like dead on. Yeah. So you guys, if you're going to drag race, just throw it in chill mode. <laughs> <laughs> Make it even. Yeah. George, uh, yep. Scott, you're the CEO. George, uh, George uh, we're at national speed. Um, George is running the dyno on the Tesla Model 3, my all-wheel drive non-performance, and then the all-wheel drive performance version. So how did you calculate the torque? Uh, so the torque is something that's a lot more challenging to calculate on an electric vehicle. Uh, typically, we just take a tax signal off of a standard gasoline engine, and you can kind of go from there. Uh, in this case, obviously, we're not so fortunate, so we have to calculate it based on gear ratio, effectively. Uh, unfortunately, without doing exactly, we're having an optical pickup or something within the electric engine, you're not going to get an exact RPM. Uh, so what we do is we take the final drive, which is 971, uh, which means it, that's how many rotations of that motor it takes to rotate that wheel. Okay. Take that and then how many, our dyno we need to calculate, how, at one mile an hour, what is the engine's rotation? So we take that, multiply it out, so one rotation of the wheel we calculated based on the 9.71 uh, final drive and then uh, just multiplied it out, which gave us at, uh, it takes 118.2 uh, revolutions of the engine to go one mile an hour. Okay. And from that, the dyno actually calculates out. 
Okay, so uh, for both vehicles we need uh, the point. Okay, so we use the same calculation for both vehicles. That is that is a calculation that is not for anyone on the internet that's not an exact pulling off the engine. Uh, it could be off by point whatever. Yeah, so um, we made the assumption on the final drive ratio that's and exactly. that could adjust the torque. Things that could adjust that, uh, tire size, if you have a yep. taller tire, which I believe was for both factory tires. Yep. Uh, the taller tire could affect that. Uh, you really want to get crazy with it, you have to tire pressure at the same time or anything like that. But uh, for general purposes like this, it's, it's pretty accurate. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty evident when we ran chill mode against chill mode to software limited cars, and we got quite literally the exact same torque on two runs Two separate runs separated by what about 30 minutes, 45 minutes apart, yeah, good, yeah. Uh, but on the same day, same location, two different cars. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate no. your time. And appreciate you today. guys coming in. Enjoyed it. It's at 91 percent. That's a first for everything. <laughs> Strap ripping right off. Too much torque, man. Too much torque. <laughs> <laughs> Overpowered. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, Elon. Too much torque, man. Stop putting rocket engines in Teslas. <laughs> well, I gotta inspect what yeah. happened back yeah. down there. There's a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one we've